What is up guys? It's Popsicle 300 here. Welcome back to another video. This is the 2023 annual fighter jet slash plane model collection. So uh, we definitely have a lot more jets, uh, fighter jets, planes, die cast planes, a lot more. Because um, last year, the 2022 annual plane collection video, it was just the table this time we had to extend it to even back there and on this bar stool too plus the table that is filled up but yes uh we will get started starting up here starting down here technically on the first row f16s and then we're gonna go f14s f22s 18s 35s then we're gonna go down there and we're gonna head to that place back there the miscellaneous ones or no actually we're gonna do this table complete it going from here up then we're gonna go to this one up then we're gonna go to the miscellaneous ones and my rc jet is included we're going to start with the f16 row um these three these three plus this one was where these were my first ever models that i ever got my die cast ones here it is got these in uh i think branson missouri Nice F-16 model, die cast, pretty nice metal. Uh, these four are all the same models, they're just different paint jobs. I mean, they got like a gray and black camo. This one is my favorite out of my four first ones. This one's my favorite here. And then this one, you got a, an air show that is like five minutes at this airport. That's like five minutes from my house. A lot, uh, this F-16 Thunderbird here. And this one, I, I just recently got this one like a few months ago. Um, it's a in-air easy build F-16 Thunderbird with the logo, like the gears can fold and unfold. Then I got this one exactly a year and one day ago. Got this at a museum. It was like 50 cents or something like that. And then this one, uh, I got like about a year back. Half a year back, probably. Yeah, like pretty much like 11 months back. But yes, so that's it for the... Sorry, I got a bit of a cold. That's it for the F-16 row. Just get one more glance. All right, now... Moving on to the F-14 row. So we got this one. Like I was telling y'all, this F-14, my very first F-14, well, I got with these three F-16s, these four, including the F-14, this F-14, F-16, F-16, and F-16. These four aircraft were my very first models. <clears throat> and they were, they're great models. They served me well and the Top Gun Maverick movie. Well, not Top Gun Maverick, sorry. Just the Top Gun movie that I made. Yeah, let's carry on. So, here it is. It's a nice die cast model. This is our 14 Tomcat. Got some missiles. Very nice. Nice paint job on it. Got 212. The wings can sleep in. Sorry, it's a little hard to do it one handed and out. Yeah, that's it with that aircraft beautiful aircraft amazing for my first ever model for an older one too all the these four i got in branson missouri at a buffet it was like a little mall at the same time too then i got this one for my birthday two years ago for the uh top gun maverick like a little two pack that comes with that f-18 but yeah so this one is also great. The only minor problem with it, it's a little fragile, so it's not a great gift for kids. Or it's not not necessarily a great gift, but it's not really a great uh, thing for kids. For like kids that like play. I would consider these for them, but it's really up to the parents. We have these ones also can sweep in and out. Just like that. Nice. And then, here we go. These three, or actually these four, I got for my birthday um, <clears throat> two years ago also. 
So yeah, got this one, it's a Maverick F14. Wings also sweep out. Again, sorry, it's hard to do this two-handed. I mean, one-handed. Okay. These are just the same model, just different paint jobs. They're both enemy paint jobs. This one I got, same with this pack. Um, it was like a little, no, I wouldn't say bootleg, but it's not really in F14, because this F14 and the real F14 was like, it's like a sharp edge right there. This one is kind of like the F18, like round. But that's not important. And these ones, the wings do not sweep in or out. This one I got with this F16. Uh, this is definitely my least favorite F14 I have. Because it's definitely very broken. And the thing is, it came like this. But yeah, the wings kind of sweep in and out. They do, but it's very, um, you know, not a great job. Here we go. Starting on with the F22 line. This one, as you can see, it's very compressed. Compared to, like, these ones, they're very nice and easy. Then there's just this that's super compressed. All right. So this one got at the air show. It's, like, five minutes for me. Same with this one. I'm not really going to be picking much of these up. Unless they're, like, a cool model like that A10 down there. But yeah. So... It came with missiles, but I unscrewed it and put it over there, but, you know. And, uh, yeah, nice model. Got the pilot in there. Very nice. This is a U.S. Air Force. Right there. Nice. And then we got the, a lot of my models, such as this one, this one, uh, that one, uh, that one, that one, that one. Uh, a lot of these are in the air, easy build. I think the brand is just called In Air. But yeah, these ones, they come with landing gears that, that come in and out, but one of them popped off, so they're snapped off. It was just a tire that came off, but you know. So it still works, definitely. But yeah, I got this one uh, like a, a year and three days ago, I think. No, I, no, also a year and a day ago. Yeah, I got it at the same time as this one. But yes, um, then we got this. Uh, I, it's not Lego branded. I forgot the name, but it's like Lego Bricks F22. You can kind of see, like, the Lego in the canopy right there. It's very high quality for Lego. Like, I could go, like, without it breaking, which is very, very, uh impressive for lego sorry probably wasn't focusing in case you didn't get to see it i can go like without a popping because which is very impressive for like lego works because uh like some of these models i can't even do that way that aren't lego and some of them i can't even do that way or else it's gonna break these three i'm not really gonna take a good look at because you know they're the same exact model, just different frame jobs. This one I pinned myself. You can see it's kind of... Sorry. It's uh, a little messy. So you can see it's definitely a little messy here. But, you know, I spray painted it myself and everything. This one was pre-painted. But these two I painted myself, spray painted. This one was pre-painted. This one I got at a Walmart, which is surprising. Cause usually they don't even, I mean at a Kroger, sorry. Which is surprising because they don't even usually have toys. It's an F-22. And then this one I had for like, since I was like a bit tiny baby and I didn't even know. So I'm not including those. This was really my first ever model, but you know. That doesn't really count because I was like a year old when I got that. This one I got at the same place. Same place as these four. Same place as these four, but not at the same time. Got it summer of last year, I believe. Yeah, summer of 2020. Got those. No, I got those ones summer of 2020. Got this one winter of 2020. Sorry. 
that's it for the F-22. Oh yeah, I forgot to do the glance of the F-14. There's the glance of the F-14 row. Then here is the glance of the F-22 row. Nice. We might have to start moving to the sides of the table starting after this uh, F-18 one. You can see the F-18 is a lot more compressed than the F-22s, but this one is one of my favorite models. I got this for Christmas of 2022. It's a uh, die-cast F-18 model, which these are pretty hard to find. I really wanted one after seeing Top Gun, but I could never find one. But I got one for Christmas, thanks to my parents. Yeah. It makes sounds if you press this, the landing gear. Sorry. Makes sounds if you press the landing gear like that, but... You know. I don't really like it because it's unrealistic. Well, I don't like the, I like the jet, but I don't like the sounds. Then here's a Blue Angel. Right there. It's the same, uh, what's it called? Actually, it's not, but here it is. Blue Angel number five. It's the ones you can find at like air shows. I also got that the same vacation as, uh, this one <clears throat> Christmas of 2020 oh look December of 2020 uh 22 then this one is definitely one of my favorite F-18s this one right here sorry it's the Top Gun Maverick snap-on build model it even says it right there Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell or Pete Mitchell call sign Maverick then we got the tail wings right there. Same on here. Very good model. Moving on, we got the in-air Jolly Rogers F-18. Sorry, it's having a hard time focus. VFA 103. Nice model to it. I, it had gears, but I chose not to put them in. Yeah, you can tell it's very compressed because, like, they're bumping each other a lot. Man, it is. Camera. Very hard time focusing. Then we got this one. Especially for the comp uh, very compressed rows. I'm not going to pick them up like how I just did. But with the F-18 right here. Sorry. The F-18 right here came from the same package there. My birthday of 2022. And we got two of the Blue Angels. Right there. These ones are very nice. Got these uh, same vacation as that Blue Angel right there. Sorry. There's that Blue Angel right there. And um, this F-22. Yeah, this really is having a hard time focusing. There you go. Blue Angel one number one. Now this one. It's not one of the. It's definitely not one of my favorite F-18 models that I have. And then this one right here is the same model as that. Just different paint job. Then this one is like a real model. That you have to glue every single piece in. Absolutely tiring. Shout out to my brother. He helped me make it. That's the end of the F-18 row. Let's get a glance at that. Okay, now we have to go on the side of the table. Here's the F-35 row. Only got five aircraft in here. Two of them are duplicates. Or one of them is a duplicate, but... This one I got in the same package as this one. Or no, not the same package, but the same Christmas. They're the same brand, but it's an F-35. Can even go into... Uh, VTOL. Right there. See, and then you can fly and stuff. Not actually. Obviously. Then you can close it up right there. Nice. And then, same with this one. If you click the landing gear, it can make sound and stuff. That's definitely one of my favorite F-35s I have. This one, I got. Same vacation as, like, these ones. The Blue Angel and F-22 and stuff. Yeah, I got a lot of jet models on that vacation. 
because it's a very like military townish thing. Yeah, has like all the flags. I believe these are the flags of the countries that use the F-35s. Then it's got the classic F-35 tail wing. Whenever I made this, I put it on backwards, I think. And you got the Navy. Those little cool little symbols right there. That one right there is the same. Except I got this one for Christmas of this year. But, you know, you could never have too many F-35s. And uh, I am so sorry. But this is the one y'all will be seeing in the movies. Like the movies that I make that feature it. Because, you know, this one, it's like, you can see it's a lot more like, uh, it's newer, but like it's, it was just like a lot, I wouldn't say it was, ter it wouldn't, I wouldn't say it was a bad model, but it definitely wasn't great, because you can even see the tail wings are like, misguided and stuff. Then you got this F-35, same time I got it as this F-22. It's a very nice F-35, also from Kroger. This F-35, I got the same vacation as the that F-35, F-18, F-22, blah, 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 all of that. Oh, yeah, sorry. These two Blue Angels, I got on the same vacation as that F-35, Blue Angel, F-22, all that, this. Yeah. It says Warrior on it. It's a nice little thing to have. That's the end of the F-35. Bro, let's take a good glance at that again. Alrighty. We are halfway done here. It's already a 16 minute video, wow. Now this is whenever it kind of gets into the singles. Uh, well, the Justice Row. But yeah, we got not singles, but like couples. So we got an in-air F4 Phantom. Obviously the gears go in and out. We got the little I don't know what symbol that is, but, like, so I see it on a bunch of planes, like, like that, right there. And you got it on, like, the F-117, too. Not F-117 number two, but, like, also. Yeah, that's a very great model. Got the engines. Yeah. Gonna start going a little bit faster, but I'm still gonna ta be taking a good look. Here's another F4 Phantom. This one was one of the more expensive ones. This one was like $30. The in-air ones are usually like 20 bucks. If you get lucky, like $15, but yeah. This one was 30 bucks, but this is like a heavy metal one. Wow. Sorry, I was trying to make a guitar noise. But yeah, it's like a more high quality metal. It's not really die cast. This one is more of like for collecting. This one's not like the these F-16s and F-14s and F-22s and stuff that are like meant for playing like these F-18s and F-35s. This one I got for Christmas of 2023. The Panavia Tornado. This one the gears can come out in air. In air Panavia Tornado. Not sponsored by the way. So again it's hard to do with one hand. But the wings come out like with the real tornado. It's a bit rough, but you know, we got this cool little like, I wouldn't say leopard, but cool little like animal strike little thing here. Same on the tail wing. Like the little camo on it. I think it's a very nice model. Moving on to the other side of this row. This one I had like when I was like one year old, same as this F-22. Say a little Hot Wheels, I believe. No, Matchbox. Matchbox, sorry. Panavia Tornado. It's got like missiles and the landing gears. And that one you can't even buy anymore, so I'm very glad I have it. Because not a lot of people have it. There you go. That's it for the uh, Panavia Tornadoes. Moving on to the SR-71. This one I didn't get for Christmas, but I bought during Christmas time at a <clears throat> military museum. SR-71. Nice. The gears come out, as you can see. I don't know why they're spread out so much, but there you go. That's better.
And then got this for like that F14, the F16, and yeah, it's a little SR71. Very nice. That's the end of this uh, couples row. Let's take a glance at that. 20 minutes in. Still got like another 20 minutes to go because you still got these three rows, these, and the miscellaneous stuff. This row, I, I really like. This row, uh, an F15. I already have... Oh, sorry, sorry. I am so sorry, A10s. You're not the middle child. Don't worry. You won't forget for time. Sorry to the middle child. <clears throat> yes. This one is a snap-on uh, A10 Warthog. It's very hefty, you know, for being snap-on. It's a little creaky, though. Yep, I put on some stickers on there. Like a little panther sticker, lightning stickers. If it's an A10 Warthog, you gotta have that little snake sticker on it. That little plane symbol again. There you go, there's the tailing. Very nice. It scared me, I thought the sticker was coming off. Then these two are the same brand. They're also like the higher quality ones. It's the 100 year uh, special, or like not special, but the 100 year anniversary aircraft, I think. It's got like a devil dude or something on it, like Satan or something. I don't know what it is. It's like a pinup dude or something. Okay, sorry, not a pinup dude, but you know what I'm saying. Like a little comic book looking dude. Have the pilot in there. Very nice aircraft, I love it. Moving on to the other side of this row. We have this one. I also got exactly a year and one day ago. <clears throat> the, I call it the A-10th Piglet, if you, because if you look at VTOL mods... Um, this is like VTOL mod, VTOL VR mods, like this and that, A-10s, and then there's one like this called the A-10 Piglet, or the A-10th Piglet, sorry, so I call it the A-10th Piglet. Here's a little plastic A-10th Piglet, I got with the F-16 and F-14, <clears throat> BS, it's a very nice A-10th Piglet, A-10 Warthog, sorry for the review, yep. Here's another glance at the row. Nice. All right, moving on. Gotta fix that. Nice. Okay, sorry, F15. Sorry to get your hopes up and make you have to wait. Here we go. So I got I got that A10 um, around 11 months ago. So pretty much a year. And I got a, another one of the exact one for Christmas. And, you know, there's no such thing as too many A-10s. But my brother always had this F-15 that I always wanted an excuse for him to give it to me. So I decided to strike a bargain and we traded. So now I have his F-15. That The canopy is a little messed up, but, you know, that's not that big a deal. I don't really care about the, specifically the canopy. Just as long as the wings or the tail wings or the engines or anything aren't messed up, then I'm fine. Yes, it's an in-air F-15 that my brother got exactly a day and, or a year and one day ago. That's the tail wing. Also got that plane symbol. Beautiful aircraft. These three are also the same model, similar to those F-22, so I'm not going to show you all of them. This one was pre-painted in the package. This... Oh, not my MiG-29. I am so sorry. That scared me so bad, dude. At least it's alright. Okay. Jeez. My heart stopped. Anyways, there's those two. I painted those, pre-painted. Here's one that not everybody has. Is the YF-23 Black Widow. Beautiful aircraft. Got those... Weird but cool looking engines. That's the end of that row. Let's take one more glance at it. Nice. Coming around here. 25 minutes in. This one. Um, the MiG-29. I just got it today actually. 
Got the pilot in there. Sorry, it's not focusing. It's kind of funny how the landing gear is just dangling in there. Got the pilot at the 53. There was a little crack in the canopy when I got it, but you know, I don't really care about that. As long as it's not coming through, which it's not. It's like a crack on the inside of the plastic, but as long as it's not coming through, I don't really care for it. But, you know, got the red stars on the tail wings and the wings. Got the engines, nice landing gears. Yeah, it's a beautiful aircraft. This one, I tried to uh, make it like the um, the MiG-29 that is at Oshkosh. It was at the airport, and it's like five minutes from me, and I got to see it fly. I might post a few videos on that. So I painted it, spray painted it like grayish, and then I decided to try and color it black. So it kind of looks like it, but not really. But that's all right. And then... Here's a MiG-29, black MiG-29, same model, just different color. This one's pre-painted also. Sorry. There's an SU-35 that I got with that F-18 over there. Beautiful model. See right there on the tail wing. SU-35. Got the red star, nice landing gears. Here's some SU-37s. Again, uh, I painted these two pre-painted. Nice. Got those same right there. Now, that's the end of that row. Let's get one more glance. Sorry. Let's get one more glance. Nice. All right, that's the end of the table. The dinner table, or the dining table. Now, let's get one more glance of the big table. Now we're moving on to here. We could do this one on our knees maybe. And then we got the the SR-72 Dark Star, the Matchbox SR-72 Dark Star. Nice, got the little invisible stand. This one I got Christmas, or like Christmas Vacation of 2022. It's like a fake little SR-71, SR-72 thing you look like. This one I really like. It's an F5 Tiger. F5 Tiger 2 to be exact. Has a little tiger on there. 65. Got the little symbol. U.S. Air Force F5E. Great aircraft. Moving on. I got this just a few months ago. B1B Lancer. Nice. Then I got this one, Christmas of 2022. The Dassault Raphael, I believe. If it's not that and you know what it is, please post down in the comments below. Nice little refueling probe, I think. Yeah. And then, that's the end of these two rows. Let's give it a good glance. Nice. Okay. I'm just going to sit down for these ones. All right. So, here we got the in-air F-117 Nighthawk. There you go. Nice. I really love that one. I got it like a few months ago also. This one I got Christmas Vacation of 2022 also. And an F-117 Diecast model. So they can... Let's pull back one too. So yeah, you can see the pilot in there too. Got a plastic one. It's not really a great design, but it's better than nothing. There's a glance of this row. Nice. Now, this one I got Christmas of 2023. I mean 2022, sorry. This one I got Christmas Vacation of 2022 with that F-117. So, I'm going to show you the one I got for Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. Uh, again, plays sounds and stuff if you press the landing gear, but I took the batteries out again. Yeah, it's a great aircraft. The Ghost. It's actually called the B-2 Raider. Or no, not B-2 Raider. 
the um, B2 Spirit. Sorry, I got mixed up with the B21. That's the same model, just again, different paint job and stuff. Except this one, the landing gear is a little taller than that one, the front one. Here, we have the final two military aircraft. This one, we have a in -air, <coughs> an in-air C-130 Hercules. Right there, it says U.S. Air Force, United States Air Force. Got the four propellers. Got the United States flag on the tail wing right there. It's a little dusty, you can see, because I've been putting it on display in my room. That's how you know I'm a real collector. Whenever my models and stuff from collection collects dust on it. This one doesn't because I put them in a box. But a lot of these, including including this one, gained some dust on it. But, you know, this one I got a long time. Well, I didn't get it. Um, I think my dad got it when he was in the Air Force for my uh, older brother, oldest brother. Yeah, it's a very, I wouldn't say a very big C-130, but it's a lot bigger than my usual models. Got the four spinning propellers. You can't even see it inside. There's like a gen, like a real inside of it. I'm gonna turn it for just a bit. I don't know how to do this one-handed, but you can open the door. I would do it, but I'm one-handed right now. Sorry. Then you can even turn this little turret thing, dude. Then you can do the little door gunner guy. Alrighty, let's get one big glance at all of this. Alright. Now we can move on to the final, final collection of aircraft. Oops, oh, sorry, C-130. Final collection of aircraft. We got this biplane that I got from <coughs> Tails and Sonic from the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 playset. Cool little biplane, you know. This one I got from TJ Maxx, surprisingly, within with a little pilot in there that I can take out. He's like an actual figure. I'm just putting putting him in there for now. This is U.S. Air Force. The this is actually like the the toy. The model was sponsored by the United States Air Force. The box, like I said, had the Air Force logo and everything. And I even looked on the I looked at this on Amazon, and it even had a link to the Air Force recruitment website. This, it doesn't really count as an air, or like a jet or anything, but it's a little aircraft carrier pencil sharpener, but I just treat it as a model. Nice. It's got the little aircraft on there. You got this little chopper at five below. This one was also... Sponsored by the real United States Army. Like the box set army and everything. I have a little plastic, I believe, Huey right here. Yeah. Right nice camo. Got a in air P fifty one Mustang. Sorry. Couldn't get it to turn, but it turns. Then you got the gears, the little logo thing, the symbol, got the tail wing right there. Then the final aircraft of this collection, my RC Blue Angel F-18. Got the propellers right there, the landing gears, and yeah. Thank y'all so much for watching this collection video. And uh, I'll do another collection video just like this in 2024 around december or january i just want to say thank y'all so much for watching thank y'all for 121 subscribers don't forget to subscribe like comment down down below and bye